Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to the class number 15. Today is Friday. Everybody loves Friday. So welcome back again. And we're going to start this class. I'm glad that you can be here. So we're going to start. And let's see who, who do we have here. Francisco, good evening. Hello. Do you teacher? Good Friday. Do you work tomorrow? Tomorrow, yes. Saturday. You work? No. Yeah. Absolutely. No. That's really good. Okay, very nice. Uh, oh. Because uh, uh, class electricia. electricia. Ah, you have class. Yes. Have cl okay, really good. With uh, electricity workshop, you have electricity classes. Nice. Correct. Interesting. You're kind of busy, but ocupado. Okay, good. Okay. Very oh. nice. Good for you. Congratulations, Felicia Francisco. Here we have also Carly. Good evening. Good evening, okay. teacher. Okay. You don't work tomorrow, right? No. No, gracias, Risa. Okay. <laughs> Works really good. So Friday. Because because I I taking um, check exams, homework. Oh, you have to check exams, yes, and that takes time. Lleva tiempo, eso. It yes. takes a lot of time, okay? Uh, depends on how many students you have, right? Okay. Um, 36. Okay, 36, okay. Yes, yeah, there, there are a lot. Well, uh, let, let's try to do it. In the morning, the very, very morning. Okay, nice. Here we have also Gabriel, Roberto, Ivania, Marvin, Elizabeth. La tenemos dos veces. Creo que tiene la hermana gemela. Hello, Elizabeth. No, estoy en el teléfono y también en la compu, pero ahorita me salgo del teléfono. Ok, yo dije, está clonada, Elizabeth. Ok. Como últimamente la agarra de trolear, ¿no? So that's it. Okay, nice. Here we have uh, Kathy, Jocelyn, Judith, David, Flor, William. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Remember, we are finishing the third unit. La tercera unidad. Hoy la terminamos. Really good. And then we have just one week. They solo una semana. It just suena super genial. Okay. So let me show you something here. Here we have this content. I'm going to present the topic. We're going to have a review. Vamos a tener una revisión. Okay. A short review of the unit number three. Remember that we have been studying, hemos estado estudiando uh, simple present and present continuous spatially. So you know already how to use present continuous verbs with ing, work, working, okay? Talk, talking, 
And that's it. Okay, so we know how to add ing, as I'm going to ing, a los verbos. Affirmative, negative, and questions. So look at this, un hermoso número, 15. Right. Now, to start here, um, here we have ways to ask, how are you? This es bastante importante. That's really basic and also important. We have studied this uh, with some of students in the previous course. In the curso pasado, se recuerdan que les mostré algo parecido, okay? Right? Ways to ask, how are you? And this is really important because you can use different forms. It is good to use variations. Si utilizan variaciones, you're not going to sound um, boring. No van a sonar aburrido. So that's really, really good and important. You can expand your vocabulary, okay? So that's really good. Okay, so here we have the first. How is everything? Algunas veces se escuchan que los, ¿cómo se llama? Hay vocales, hay letras que se unen. Entonces ya no es how is everything, sino how's everything. And that's really common. For example, in English, when um, there's a question, what is your name? Normalmente no decimos what is your name. Marvin, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Everything okay? Okay, todo bien. Okay, perfect. So, people don't, Marvin, people don't say what is your name. Le quitan una vocal, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo es normalmente lo que dice la gente? Esta misma pregunta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Le dicen, what is your name? O le o dicen, what's your name? Yes, what's your name? Thank you, Marvin. So, can you notice the vowel I is uh, deleted? Es eliminada la I. Entonces decimos, what's your name? And that's okay. Okay, no problem. Um, we do this in Spanish as well. También lo, lo, lo hacemos en español. Omitimos, ¿verdad? Eh, omitimos palabras. El claro ejemplo cuando les decía que normalmente nosotros no mencionamos la palabra uh, o las palabras espérame o espérame. Decimos espérame, sin es, ¿verdad? Es o en lugar de decir verdad, decimos verdad o decimos va. ¿Va que sí? So that usually happens in English. También pasa en inglés, entonces... Ya es una manera un poco más nativa. De, y eso pasa en todos los idiomas. Entonces, so, en lugar de decir, how is everything, la gente dice, sometimes people say, how's everything, como house, casi como casi, how's everything. Then we have number two, how have you been? How have you been? Three, how are you feeling? ¿Cómo te estás sintiendo? Uh, it is more than how are you. Es casi como how are you. Todos estos es, se pueden usar en lugar de how are you. Number four. What's new with you? ¿Qué hay de nuevo? Como decía Bugs Bunny. What's new with you? And how was your day? I usually use this. A veces, no sé si lo han notado, pero yo utilizo bastante esto. How was your day? Then here we have... How is it going? Otra que a mí me gusta bastante. How is it going? Okay. Y en lugar de decir how is it going, podemos decir how is, how is it going? Sí, está ahí. How is it going? And the other form is how are the things going? How are the things going? All of these phrases or questions can be used instead of using how are you? And what they said, how are you? you? You can use these phrases, okay? So to start this class, we're going to, well, I'm going to uh, mention your name. I'm going to check the attendance list and you say, hi, hello, good evening. And then 
pronounce one of these phrases, okay? So we start with Elizabeth. Hello, teacher. Hello. What's new with you? Nice, thank you. Hello, hello there. Present teacher, okay. how is it going? Nice, perfect. Frank, we go with Francisco now. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Yeah, how was your day? Como estuvo tu día? And you can say, ah, it was difficult, it was good, pero también pueden decir, por ejemplo, good, not bad, so, so. Es como que le pregunta, ¿cómo estuvo su día? Pero también le pregunta, ¿cómo estás tú? No, similar. Thank you. And Gabriel, are you there? Yes, teacher. Good okay, evening. my friend. Tell me. How are you feeling? Okay, good. How are you feeling? And Helen, me parece que va camino. Iris, I don't know. Iris is there. No, okay. And Jimmy... I don't know if you're there, but they still have one. Okay, we don't have one. Judith? Good evening. Good evening, okay. Mention one of these phrases. How's, how's it going? How's it going? Good one. Okay, uh, Ivani. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, are you at home? Yes. Okay, perfect. What's your phrase? Uh, how is everything? How? How? How, okay. how is it? Uh, good, thank you. And Carly? How are you feeling? Nice. And Kathy, are you there? Good evening. Hello, Kathy. Okay. Um, how is everything? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And David, I don't know if you are okay. No teacher. Oh, hello. Are you driving or? No, oh, no, I'm at yeah. home. Okay, home, right. Okay, and how is everything? Perfect, thank you. Marvin, your turn. Hello, how was your day? Nice, perfect. And let's uh, see here, have Nelson. Okay, we don't have Nelson. Uh, Patty. Okay, now we go with Roberto. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Roberto. Uh, hey, what's new with you? Perfect, that's what you said. Thank you. Very nice. Christy, your turn. You go. What's new with you? What's new with you? Thank you. And William, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Good one. Okay, Jasmine, parece que va de camino. And do we have Aneris? I don't know. Creo que se ayuda parrando también. Porque ya no apareció. Okay, let's continue with uh, the first speaking activity that we have here. Recuerden, todo este vocabulario, o este vocabulario that I always give you at the beginning, el, que, el vocabulario que les doy al inicio de las clases, no necesariamente, lo pueden copiar todo. Of course, you can have screenshots, también pueden tener capturas de pantalla. Lo importante es que utilicen dos o tres frases que de verdad hay que aplicarlas. Eso es. Les doy variedad para que vean cuáles son cosas así como cómodas. Entonces, si en lugar de decir, how are you, utilizan dos frases de esas, créanme, su nivel va incrementando, little by little. Okay. Um, what subject do you think you should be included? Do you think you should be included in the education system? Remember when you were at elementary school, when we say elementary school, nos estamos, estamos refiriendo a básica. Okay. So, here we have elementary Okay. Uh, from first grade to ninth grade, ¿verdad? Del primero al noveno. ¿Se recuerda? Que también se entera. Okay. Uh, it was really common that there were a lot of subjects. Había muchas materias, subjects that were not so interesting. 
that depending on the subject or it depending on the teacher on and also depending on our interests that are interested in it. So let's listen to some of your opinions about this. What subjects uh, do you consider should be included in the education system? Okay. So we're going to start this time with Carly, the teacher. Okay, Carly, tell us your opinion about this. Okay, I believe that the educational system should include subjects such as ethics, science, language, nutrition, sex education, according to age. Okay. Yes, good. Uh, yes. But not sex education, but not sex education. Okay, and so we can have different subjects. Yes, nutrition. It's really important nutrition. Imagine, uh, remember in the recess, people used to buy uh, Coke, okay, soda, and yes, and those snacks, churritos, and we don't pay attention sometimes to our health, okay, and so on, yes. A lot of examples, right? Um, science, language, as he is, teacher, language, science, science, English. Science. Science, science. language. Eh, se pronuncia. Se dice, se escribe language, pero se pronuncia language. Mm -hmm. Language. Language. Bien raro, ¿verdad? Language. Y si es plural, languages. Languages. Sign language. Eh, believe it or not, eh, deaf, deaf es las personas que son sordas, ¿verdad? Normalmente, bueno, según he leído, se dice sordo, no sordo, mudo, porque hay personas que pueden emitir sonidos y todo, ¿verdad? Son sordos porque ellos no captan el sonido. So, deaf people, eh, well, if we want to include people, we have to start by these patterns. Tenemos de que no se pongan esos patrones de inclusión realmente de esas minorías, right? Those minorities. No otro tipo de minorías que también son, deberían de elegirse a, a, a su tiempo. But a lot of, for example, Braille, who has a sign language, it is not necessary, believe it, not necessary to be experts, but at least the basic, al menos la básica. Imagínense, okay, un año por lo menos sign language, podemos aprender a decir hola, así como aprendemos otras cosas. Okay? Hola, como estás, en son. Thank you, Carly. Really good. Good uh, words. Great. Francisco, ready to the show? Yes, yes. Okay, my friend, let's do it. Uh, uh, in the education system, it is a human promotion. Academic excellence is of little use if it is not complement by a solid formation in values, which in place being a good person. Nice, nice. Uh, values and some other, some other subjects that complement to be a good citizen, a good person. Yes, Francis Lane. Maybe we as teachers, we need more training. I mean, los, los docentes necesitan más entrenamiento, más capacitación in different areas, right? So. Prácticamente eso se, se, ha, se ha olvidado. Yeah, I guess. Eh, todo profesional, porque es profesional, eh, no valora. Yes. Al, yes. al que no logró la, la meta que él ha querido y lo ve de menos. Uh, edits? Yes, for example, people are, they are not humble. Humble is humilde, sencillo. I have seen a lot of professionals that they consider that they are in another level and they consider yes. superior. It is not like that, definitely. For example, if we go to schools, I have seen some private schools in which uh, kids don't read the janitor. Eh, por ejemplo, los chicos no saludan al conserje, a la señora de limpieza, a la señora de las cafeterías. Eh, those eh, details eh, define a person. Eso eh, define bastante lo, lo de una persona. So, I guess we, we have to work on that. Tenemos que trabajar bastante en eso. Okay. Okay. Yes, good, Francisco. Very nice. Y nos vemos con todos. Bien, estilos.
Se quieren ir rápido de la clase. A ver. Ok, we go now with um, Judith. In my opinion, some subject can be arts, education, instrument, and economics. Okay. Okay, arts, related to arts. Yes, Judith. ¿Cómo? Relacionado a las artes. Arts. Or artistic. Education. Artistic. Okay. Artistic. Yes, yes. Um, economy, I could add, podría agregar. Personal economy. Um, I consider that maybe we didn't have artistic or creativity uh, the way we should have had. La manera como tuvimos que haber tenido creatividad, a mí no quieren solo colorear. And there are a lot of kids that they have good abilities. I mean, they can have the arts. And also, maybe there, there's a talent to be explored. Personal economy, how to save money, como ahorrar dinero, how to accomplish a project, como llegar a un proyecto económico. Presupuesto personal, so important. And so, that's cool. Thank you, Judith. And what about if we listen now to David and then we go with Elisa? Okay, David, tell us the subject the shoe that you will have. Okay, had. teacher. I think um, they should include emotional intelligence, uh, sex education, modern language, entrepreneurship, personal finance and something related to music yes yes if you notice if you notice we have like sometimes in the schools it is taught the, the flute a veces se enseña la flauta nada más but music it's a so stands there are some projects in which people uh, students uh, like make music with uh, buckets a veces hacen eh, música con, con cubetas, eh, sonidos de percusión, a, a lot of things. Eh, it, it, it doesn't refer just to, to specific instrument, but music is so extensive, okay? Eh, entrepreneurship, emprendedurismo, okay? Como, 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 como una, how to create a, a micro business, ¿verdad? Y a, a lot of things that can facilitate um, some, yeah, the money, a yeah, different forms to earn money. Of course, it, it could be really nice. We go now with Elizabeth, and then we go with Gabriel. Okay, in my opinion, I think should be employed in emotional health and emotional management. In addition, to teaching different languages. Yes. Well, teaching languages, uh, maybe in some private schools that they are, they are applying that, but we need like modern languages or different languages in public schools. Emotional health ability. Like one month ago, there was a girl uh, near my house that she killed herself. Ella se, se suicidó and they, she didn't, well, she couldn't manage the emotional uh, aspects of her life. No pudo manejar su aspecto. Imagine emotional health can uh, really help a lot of teenagers, principalmente a los adolescentes. Okay, we go now with Gabriel, right? Yes, teacher. Please, my, my opinion is today many school live an important issue for the education of studying which is orientation for life mm -hmm. yeah that's it and um, i guess we have noticed that at school we receive classes but we 
when we are adults, we wanted something at school that can help us a lot, algo que nos ayudara, pero, pero no solo para seguir estudiando, sino en la vida. So maybe uh, we need more of, of that in schools. I guess this is a very interesting topic. We're going to continue later with this. I consider that all of your ideas are really good because you, you can notice the necessity in these gaps. Cuando decimos gaps, significan vacíos, you know, gaps in the educational system. So uh, we're going to move now. In this case, here we have ever in bed, ever in bed. I guess this conversation is, is bigger than the other ones, okay? So in this case, here we have high bed, igual. Similar than yesterday, we're going to change the name. We're not going to say high bed or low ever. We're going to say hi, Francisco, for example, and hello, William, okay? So hi bed, long time no see, how are you? Hello ever. What are you doing these days? I'm okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. Coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right, I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great, well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. They say, hola, ver, eh, tiempo de, 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 de no vernos. ¿Cómo estás? Hola, ver. ¿Qué, ¿Qué hace estos días? Estoy bien. Bueno, estoy trabajando en un nuevo proyecto y también estoy tomando un curso de inglés estos días. ¿Qué hay sobre ti? Eh, eso suena genial. Qué coincidencia. También estoy tomando un curso de inglés. El inglés es importante en el trabajo estos días. Entonces, un compañero quien completó el curso está tomando pues, capacitación en Inglaterra estos días. Tiene razón. Estoy estudiando por mi cuenta, on my own, por mí mismo, por mi cuenta. Tú sabes, estoy leyendo novelas eh, para tener mejores resultados. Great. Genial. Bueno, yo estoy escuchando algunos listenings, ¿verdad? Que son audios. Ejercicios de audio ayudan bastante. So, in this case, here we have this. Um, let me see, how are you? Sounds, por favor, pronúnciame la S. Sounds. Coincidence. Vamos a hacer coincidence essential colleague completed o completed. Okay. And see on my own. Eso se dice aún, reading knows better. Pueden decir better o better, como better call soul. Exercises. Ok. Sounds, coincidence, essential, colleague, completed, my own, on my own, own, better exercises. Okay, let's check if a person can send this. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you for sending the conversation. We're going to practice a little bit. Just give me a second so I can arrange the groups where the group is much in mental.
Hello, Fabricio. We're going to practice a conversation. Are you okay? Okay. Uh, yes, the conversation is in the WhatsApp group. Ah, okay. Ahorita reviso. Yes. Okay. So, see you in a moment, my friends. I bet. Long time to see. How are you?
Teacher está hablando con su conciencia. Ok. Ay, tenía tiempo de no hablar con mi conciencia, por eso. Thank you, Carlos. Ok, do we have uh, now some of the Only you. Ahí está. Bien, Fabricio, viene con todo y no es romántico ahora. Y... No, es, cuando, es que como uno decía, vos solo, only. Ajá, only you. <ríe> La canción. Ok, let's listen now to. Vamos a despertar a Carly. Vamos, Carly. Yo can do it. Ok, David. David. Te proclamamos. Okay. Comienza usted o comienza yo. Okay, si quieres comienzo. Ok. Hi, uh, Carly. <laughs> Hi, Carly. Uh, Permita. The conversation. Hi, Carly. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, David. What are you doing this day? I'm okay. Well, I'm working on a new project, and also I'm on take taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I'm also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completes the course is taking training in England these days. You are right. I'm studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. I'm doing listening exercises. They have a lot of. Thank you. Very good. Very nice pronunciation. Okay, now let's uh, notice here. Here we have. Okay. Now let's move to this second speaking activity. There, okay. So um, let me change this. What subjects do you think should be included in the um, education system? Let's listen now to Roberto and then Tristi. Okay, Roberto. Okay, Chair. Tell us your opinion. Okay. Firstly, one of the great challenges that the educational system has is the teaching of sexual health signs the world prevent pregnant in an early age. And additional to that, dedicate themselves fully to their study. And finally, the professional to have a better future. Mm -hmm. Very good, yes, good option. <laughs> I guess maybe this kind of subjects or the courses or workshops, talleres, it is not necessary to, to have it during a lot of years. Maybe in a specific stage, in una etapa específica, they, we can, we can uh, develop it. Thank you, Roberto. Good options. We go now with Christy, and after Christy, we go with Flo. Who is the uh, English teacher? Uh, basic finances, how to deal with week. Okay, yeah. There are a lot of problems that uh, kids have and they don't know how, they don't know how to face it. Hay como enfrentarlo, superarlo. Basic finances, it's so important, definitely. That's why a lot of people that they become adults, cuando llegan adultos, they have debts, tienen deudas. That's why they don't know like a lot of basic finances. That, that's a, a really a big problem in, here in Latin America and especially in Salvador. Okay, Flor, let's go with you and then with Ivani. Okay, Flor, show time. Uh, I think they should 
included orientation for life and moral and civic for from first grade. Okay, from first grade, desde el primer grado. Yes. Wow, that's really good, good idea, yes. Why not? And it, well, we have the idea that kids are not ready to know some things. A veces queremos que los niños no están listos para hacer algunas cosas, but yes, they do. Sí, están listos. They, well, they, they, they are really good. They are intelligent. Okay, so that's uh, a good a good option. Thank you, sir. Really nice. We go now with Ivania and then Kathy. Okay, and for example, an uh, Excel subject should be included in work life. It takes a lot of work and also increase more hours, hours of other lang language, language. Language, yes, any other language. And Excel is so important in every single work. That's all that we need, right? So important, and that is um, something that people don't know, at least basically. Thank you, Ivan. Very nice. We go now with Kathy and then Marvin. Um, my opinion and orientation orientation for life. Uh, cook, yes. nutrition, self defense. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice nutrition, self. I'm sorry. This is really important. Imagine girls, a lot of girls that maybe they have isolated roles as that need to quizás que caminar solas, verdad, o caer un poco así. Self defense could be a really good option, even for kids, for boys. Para los chicos y chicas, yes, why not? Thank you, Kathy. Really nice options. And if you notice, these subjects are not so expensive. No, no es que sean tan caras ni implementarlas. Realmente, they are factible. Son factibles, de hecho. Okay, uh, Marvin and William. Okay, teacher. And um, my subject would be nutrition for health. And why nutrition for health? And because today no one disputes the importance of acquiring good for healthy eating. And nevertheless, nutrition is the process by which the nutrient contains and who is satisfied the news of ourselves. Yes, well, that, that, that's really good point, uh, Marvin. Maybe, well, actually we have some information on the internet, right? In YouTube and all those things. But maybe there are there are some subjects or there is information that maybe can be taught in different ways. Puede ser enseñado de, de, de maneras diferentes. Creo que puede ser muy útiles. But thank you, Marvin. Really good. So bien, that's what you said. Nevertheless, that was really awesome. William, what about you? And then Fabrizio. Okay, William. Not ready. Okay, let's move then with Fabrizio. El cantante. Voy a No, ya se me olvidó la canción. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I remember that before we participated in dance. Uh, declamation, acting, and larger musical groups. Now, these values have been lost. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, in that field or in that area, kids and, and well, boys and girls can develop different skills or talents. Okay, when they sing, they dance, or they declamate when they. Uh, they well in the past i guess we had more experience with audience with public to be more, 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 more,
Uh, nowadays, maybe kids are more introvert, son un poquito más introvertidos en algunos aspectos, at least in public. So, yeah, that, that could help a lot in personal growing. Of course, a mí se me que te favorece salir en punto artístico, right? El dolor de cabeza era para mi mamá. <laughs> Va. Pero te ganaba premios en los bailes. Eso sí, hasta que llegué al bachillerato y me metí en danza moderna. <laughs> Va. No te dejas. Good one, good one. Okay, let's move with, here we have, write a six paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. Bien, vamos a ver algunos eventos temporales, por ejemplo, temporales, perdón. Let's, uh, before, antes que nos vayamos a esta actividad, vamos a tener esa, veamos. In this, I will need the help of Francisco. Okay, uh, Francisco, I need you to help me read it. Use the present continuous. Use the present continuous or temp temporary. temporary temporary situation. The expression these days. These day and at the moment mm -hmm. are open using to emphasize emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Yes, definitely. So when we say these days, estos días, okay, estos días, or también cuando decimos at the moment, uh, por el momento, okay, so here we have some examples. I am reading a new book these days. So leyendo un nuevo libro, estos días. This is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book al final. Si es temporal, esta actividad, ¿por qué lo va a terminar? Okay, let's listen number two. Uh, Marvin, Wendy. Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. And uh, the meeting will finish sooner or later. Bien, cuando decimos sooner or later significa eh, tarde o temprano, ¿verdad? Va a pasar. Okay, si usan no tengan esa, esa frase, sooner or later. Uh, por ejemplo, did you receive your payment? Did you you receive your bonus, recibiste el bono, el, el pago, mm, sooner or later, tarde o temprano. So, it means that, todavía no, pero tarde o temprano. Okay, and then here we have number three, and for this one, I will need the help of Judith. Okay, Judith, can you help me with number three? We are talking taking. in English, taking in English course. course. Mm -hmm. The course will end. Definitely. Entonces, eh, ustedes están tomando un curso de inglés que ya va a terminar la otra semana. Ya van a estar felices, libres de mí. Ok, so, happy. What are we going to do? We're going to do, uh, let me, well, tell me two sentences. Hagan dos oraciones, no seis, dos oraciones. Y en alguno pueden escribir these days o pueden escribir at this moment. Eh, podemos utilizar, we can use... Um, these examples of uh, temporary situations. Situaciones temporales que ya van a pasar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, estoy leyendo un libro, uh, estoy aprendiendo a cocinar, acepto un, un curso de inglés, ¿verdad? Estoy, incluso, estoy preparando un reporte, preparing a report, no those things. Relacionado a su trabajo, si es posible, o si no, puede ser relacionado a las pastas. ¿Ok? Going to give you Two minutes, okay, uh, prepare to. Recuerden utilizar these days, o también pueden utilizar at this moment. En un momento les pregunto.
Okay, let's listen to some of your sentences. What about uh, Marina? Are you ready with your temporary situations? Okay, teacher. Dos uh, oraciones. Yes. Okay. Uh, sería, I am finishing reading a book. Nice. And two, la segunda sería, I will have an inventory on Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's perfect. Good. And let me see now, let's move with Francisco and then Flor. Uh, not ready. Not ready. Okay, Flor, what about you? Uh, number one, I am prepared to work these days. Mm -hmm. Number two, I am have class at this moment. Nice, very good. Now let's listen to Katy and then Roberto. Okay, Katy. Ready? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm preparing a machine report this day. Nice. I'm a finish a finance a segment right now. Okay. Oh, right now. Nice. Perfect. So recuerda que con these days. These days, okay. This day. Okay. Perfect. Good one, Katy. Okay, Roberto and then Ivania. Okay. I am driving to the office all day. Okay. I am eating the breakfast in the office. Okay. Uh, what about Ivania and then Judith? Okay, I am watching series this day. This is these okay. days, these days. This day, okay. Mm -hmm. I am preparing a report this day. Perfect, good one. Okay, Judith, and then we go with Fabrizio. Okay. To the park. Correr. Um, no te escuchamos, creo que se cortó un poco, Judith. Ahora. Ahora sí, yes. I go running to the park these days. Okay, sería so yeah, I am running. Okay, así. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I yeah. am running mm -hmm. in the park these days. Okay, what about number two? I am organizing an event these days. Yes, really good one. Thank you. Okay, Fabricio, it's your turn. And after Fabricio, we have Carlos. All right. Um, I take I taking a English course. ¿Cuál era? At. Se me fue la palabra. Atrapalo. Come on. Ese idioma bien extraño. Es un momento. Okay. And second, I am preparing the vehicle uh, this day to go to the beach. Nice, perfect, well, yeah, buenos planes. Okay, let's listen to Carly and then Christy. Okay, I am learning some language this moment. I am planning a trip these days. Good one, thank you. Okay, we go with Christy and then Gabriel. I am to swim. Um, Okay, I am, I am swimming. I am swimming. Mm -hmm. I am swimming. Um, okay, okay, thank you. We go now with Gabriel and then Elizabeth. Okay. I am taking class mechanic in this day. I am taking. Mm -hmm. I am taking. Oh, taking. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. And you have number two, sentence number two. I am eating April in this moment. Okay, thank you. And Elizabeth and then William. I am studying English and at this moment. Okay. I am having a meeting at this, this day. Perfect. Good. Okay, what about you, William? Okay, maybe I'm not ready. Marvin, porque yo fuiste primero. Bien, vamos con Francisco. Ready with your sentence, Francisco? 
ready, ready. Good one. Uh, and the first, I am starting a new project in this day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good uh, sec uh, second, I am finished a course of electricity this day. Okay, I'm finishing. I am finished. Finish. Okay, really good. Thank you. Okay, now in this moment, uh, let's move with uh, the listening part. Okay, uh, so be ready with your pen or pencil to write or translate part some words or phrases. Just give me a couple of seconds. Let me for a second. Let me preparo el audio. Okay, let's listen. This is the first time. Speak from respect. From childhood, our parents and elders taught us. And elders. I'm sorry, I'm going to play this one more time. Speak from respect. From childhood, our parents and elders taught us how to respect others, respecting our nation's love. And regulation is also essential. Our country has people with different moral values, religion, and cultural backgrounds. But the respect of all the factors, we should respect everyone. Respect comes from the qualities, abilities, and achievements of whoever you want to respect. Excellent. Let's listen one more time. Speak on respect. From childhood, our parents and elders taught us how to respect others. Respecting our nation's love and regulation is also essential. Our country has people with different moral values, religion, and cultural backgrounds. But the respect of all the factors, we should respect everyone. Respect comes from the qualities, abilities, and achievements of whoever you want to respect. Okay, so uh, let's connect this. What about if we if we ask to some of you, what about Ivania? What words would you identify, Ivania? Mm, abilities, nice. abilities. Okay, good one, thank you. Okay, now let's listen to Francisco. One or two words that you have identified or phrases. In example, organizer and ability. Okay, thank you. What about Christy? And then we go with Gabriel. Example, abilities. Nice, example. Mm -hmm. Nice, good. Gabriel, and then we go with uh, Kathy. Background. And everyone. Good background. Good work. Thank you. Kathy and Carly. Uh, abilities. Mm -hmm. Abilities. Okay. And Carly, and then we go with Francisco. Qualities. Oh, qualities and everyone. And everyone. Yes, qualities and mm -hmm, everyone. Okay, Fabricio, sorry. And Marvin. Uh, I can hear very well. Uh, okay, no problem. Let's listen to Marvin. Could you hear, please, escuchar? Oh, problem. Uh, danger woman, ability. Ah, okay, nice, nice. Danger Esa, woman. Thank you. Eh, Tuviste problemas para escuchar, Marvin? Uh, más o menos, teacher. Okay, let's check this, and we are going to confirm the words that you have identify okay let's listen speak 
mutual respect. So the potential of our parents and elders taught us how to respect others. Respecting our nation's love and our relation is also essential. Our country has people with different moral values, religion, and cultural backgrounds. But the respect of all the factors, we should respect everyone. Respect some from the qualities, abilities, and achievements of whoever you want to respect. Okay. So there are some interesting words in here. Okay, childhood. Okay, we're talking about respect. Some answer respect. Okay, childhood parents. Okay, here we have also background. La palabra background significa todo nuestros nuestras experiencias pasadas. Okay, and that's it. Here we have uh, what qualities? Como dijeron, verdad? Achievements and values people okay you are identifying a lot of words now let's move to another question speaking activity number two should parents be punished by their children's crime acá es no es children bueno la s la posiferia significa los crímenes de los niños deberían de ser castigados los padres por los crímenes de sus hijos. Ok. Eh, let's eh, listen to some of your points of view. Pueden tomarlo como sus hijos o como sus niños. Ok. El crimen de sus hijos, el crimen de sus niños. Ok. So in this case, I would like to hear uh, by the first time to Elizabeth and then Roberto. Elizabeth, are you ready? ¿Y por qué voy a ser la primera, teacher? ¿La segunda? La última, me parece. Vale, la última, no, pues. está bien, está bien. Eso. No, ahorita lo voy a hacer. Eso. No se te ha miedo, nada. Después. Así después me duermo. Exacto, puede roncar. Ok, ahorita. En mi opinión, no, teacher. Because everyone they their own decision uh, that is why everyone should pay the consequences of their action okay well, nice yes everyone should pay uh, the consequences of their actions mm -hmm. of course i can't say responsible okay thank you what about uh, roberto and then we go with uh, Fabricio. Okay. Any act of intentional misconduct be a minor that results in the injury or death of another person or in any dam dam damage to the preparing of another child be imputed to the parents or guardian having custody or control of the minor. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, yes. It is really, really difficult in the case, especially when we're talking about teenagers or kids under 18 years old. Well, it is really hard, thank you. What about Fabricio? Ready for this, Fabricio? And then we go with Carlos. Okay, in my opinion, um, the parents um, be punished uh, only the their child's um, is or um, how do you say mayor edad? Ah, uh, adult. You can say adult. adult adults uh, because uh, they uh, how do you say ya son responsable no ya son they are responsible they, they are, are responsible, responsible. Mm -hmm. okay um, my ya le digo my ay, se me trabó esta cosa my grand grandfather uh, used to say I can him uh, out of the jail, but I can get him out of the cemetery. 
because mm -hmm. my grand grandfather used a gun. Okay. Uh, my family uh, se acostumbró. Mm, got a custom. The custom uh, used the gun. Mm, okay. uh, it was normal for them. It's normal in Usulutan. Ah, okay. And what about you? You have a gun? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Uh, I like it, but uh, only see. Okay, only see. Okay, thank you. Um, I guess there are some extremes. Mm -hmm. As uh, your grand grandfather is said, I can get I can't get you out of jail, out of jail, but I can get you out of the cemetery, right? So it's about protecting and trying that that, that person will be like well in the better conditions. Thank you. What if we go now with Carly, right? And then to this. Okay. In my point, of, in my point of view, they should because. The parents are the main ones in charge of giving and instructing their children and many of the crimes that children commit is because the parents were very permissive or careless in their training. Mm -hmm. Okay, the training in the way uh, kids are raised, okay? Raise significa criar, educar, okay? Uh, depends on the parents, okay? Sometimes the kids are, or well, they do what they want, as you know, and parents should put the limits, so, and then we have the consequences if parents don't do that. Thank you, Carly. Okay, we go with Judith, and then and we go with Francisco. No, because they must be responsible for their actions. And if they are well education by the parents, they will not commit crimes. Nice. Yes. If they have correction, education, and guide, they're not going to commit any crime. The problem is that in El Salvador we have different families or most of the families are separated, okay? And even there are kids which they have mother and father together, but they commit crimes. It was really difficult. Thank you, Judy. Okay, Francisco and then Gabriel. Okay, Frank. Okay. okay. In my opinion, no, the parents should be, uh, not be punished for the action of their children. In real life, parents are the last to release the most take responsibility for their action. That's true. Sometimes the parents are the last to realize the action that their kids are doing, and that is a reality. Unfortunately, uh, the kids are doing a lot of things, and parents, maybe they are busy, or they have a lot of problems, but they don't notice, no se dan cuenta, they don't notice all the things, the type of frame that the kids have, the types of tendencies, las tendencias que ellos tienen, likes, and that's really sad. That's really, really sad because the parents don't know very well the kids. Okay, so, but as every parent, they say, well, my kid, my boy, my girl is a good person. They don't hurt anybody, no la lastima a nadie, but the reality is different sometimes. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Really good point. Very, very nice. Okay, we're going to check uh, this um, a chart, let me see. A chart that we have seen. Yes, Francisco, yes, another point. 
Eh, eh, ¿Se escuchó? Porque sí, se me... Sí, sí hubo un momento que te escuchaste como robotina, pero fue corto. Fue corto, ah, okay, okay. de ahí estuvo bien. Pero sí estuvo... Es que acá se quedó, se quedó este, pegada, congelada la imagen, pensé que no, no terminé. La, la imagen tal vez, pero el audio sí solo hubo un momento de pausa. Ah, okay. Buen trabajo, Francisco. Good work, Frank. Ok. Yeah, salud. It's, it's Friday. It's viernes. Ok. So here we have this chart. And we're going to notice affirmative, negative, and questions. Ok. Remember, uh, you have this chart. The feeling is the quadro. Okay. Affirmative, negative, and questions. So I'm going to present a set of sentences in here. And you are going to identify which one is negative. For example, if we find, si encontramos, the word not, it means, significa que eh, la oración es negativa. Okay, not. Of course, if we eh, notice the question mark, si notamos la, la el signo de interrogación, Definitely that sentence is going to be a question. Si no encontramos not, si y ni tampoco encontramos question mark, it means, eso significa que esa oración es afirmativa. Y vamos a utilizar el present continuous. I am working, she is uh, reading a book or whatever. Okay? So for this activity, we're going to start with Iris, que ya viene super activado. Right, Iris, hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Can you select one of these uh, sentences? Uh, one number. Number one. Okay. Let's go with number one. Mm -hmm. Going home now. Okay. ¿Cómo se la oración completa? Uh, she's going home okay. now. Yes, it's really good one. Okay, that's it. Marvin viene con todos los poderes. Okay, Marvin. Is your number eight? Number eight, let's do it. Um, they are watching TV. Good, but it's a question, pero es una pregunta. Así que comenzaremos con... Oh. Um, uh, are they watching TV? Yes. There. Es cerrada, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. So, are they watching TV? Yes or no? Depends. Thank you. And we go with Judith, que ya viene super activada para el periodo. Okay, Judith, tell us. One number. Okay. Five. I'm sorry, what number? Five. Five, yes? Yes. Is she? Crying? Yes. Thank you. Really good. Now let's listen to some others. For example, we go with Kathy and Ivan. Okay, Kathy. Number two. Two. I am reading a great book. Yes. Easy peasy, right? Fácil. I am reading a great book. Yes, good one. Okay, we go now with Ivania and then Gabriel. Okay, number three. Number uh, three. She's not washing her hair, 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 hair. Yes. Here. Well, no. She is not washing, right? Así se pronuncia, que bien raro. Her se pronuncia. Her. The same. Her, her. Raro, ¿verdad? Yes, I know. Sé que es raro. But it's a 
she is not washing her hair. No estamos diciendo, ella no está lavando su su. O tampoco estamos diciendo, ella no está lavando cabello, cabello. No, su cabello. Okay. Her hair. Okay. It's a pronunciation. Thank you. Uh, Gabriel, right? Gabriel, yes. And then Number. go with Flor. Number seven. Seven. Okay. Sí. Are we driving to London? Good. Are we driving to London? Thank you. Okay, Flor and then Carly. Uh, number six. Six. Is, oh. is he not studying Latin? Mm, casi, Latin. Flor. Casi, Flor. Es una negativa. Las preguntas usualmente no tienen la palabra no. Uh -huh. Sería solo negativo. Is, uh -uh. is, is he, si decimos is, es pregunta. Ah, uh, she, he is not uh -huh. studying Latin. Yes, he is not studying Latin. Yeah. Es que me confundí porque usted dijo que las negativas eran preguntas. Mm, no. Eh, dije Florcita que si tiene no es negativa si tiene oh. este signo de pregunta era la pregunta, pregunta. Oh, ok ah, ahí me confundí sí, sí. hay algunas preguntas que son negativas pero son raras por ejemplo um, no eh, no tiene un sueño verdad entonces esa es verdad ya, ya. sí son tengo sueño ah, yo lo sé pero okay, tranquilo Okay, so that's it. It's like a different type of question. Okay, ya casi. De 38 minutos de terminar. Ya casi. Falta poco. Y después solo cinco clases y van a ser libres como el viento. Solteros, solteros de nuevo. Okay. No, yo no, pero rest maybe. Okay, let's move away. Carly, ¿me lo dijiste? No. Okay, Carly, está esperando. Number 10. 10. I'm... I am not living now. Yes. Good one. Thank you. Okay, now let's move with Marvin and Christy. Yes, teacher. No, I would have two for one. Okay. What part do you want? Or if you want, let Christy elija. Four or nine, and then we'll move to you. Okay, Christy, four or nine? Nine. Some questions, uh-huh. Where, uh, where is going you? Is she going? No, thank you. And Marvin, number four, please. Sería... It's a question, a closed question. Mm -hmm. Is the guy chasing mine? Is the cat chasing the mice? Chasing the mice. Chasing. Yes. Okay. When we say chase, is atrapar. Okay, chasing. There are some missiles, algunos misiles that they are chasing, que te persiguen. Como deudas. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we're going to practice a conversation and then we're going to. Uh, speaking activity, y acá sigamos a ir terminando. Ok. We have this, um, a new menu. This, no, este. Ok, let's move it. Y ahora este plato ya lo hicimos. Ok, then, conversation three and conversation four. Let's check this. Vamos con la tres. What is Bob doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Bob? Bob is working on his car. He is giving a tune-up. Cuando decimos tune-up, es cuando, si decimos tunear, es cuando él lo está arreglando, está arreglando algo, ¿ok? He's giving a tune-up. He is changing the oil and checking all the parts of the car. But he's not working. He is just standing there. He is taking his time because he wants to do the job right. He is listening to the radio as he works. ¿Qué está haciendo Bob? Bob está trabajando en su carro. Él lo está arreglando. 
le está cambiando el aceite y revisando todas las partes de los carros. Pero él no está trabajando, él solo está parado allí. Él está tomando su tiempo porque quiere hacer las cosas bien. Está escuchando la radio mientras yo hace. Trabajo, qué raro que trabajo. Ok, conversation four. What are the twins? Twins significa gemelos o gemelas. What are the twins? They are playing outside. They are playing soccer with their friends. They are using the front lawn as a soccer pitch. Are they having fun? They are having a lot of fun. They are exercising, so they are burning lots of energy. I think they are trying to lose weight. Entonces están los gemelos, eh, están jugando afuera, están jugando fútbol con sus amigos. Están usando um, el patio de enfrente como un campo de fútbol. Se están divirtiendo, se están divirtiendo mucho. Están haciendo ejercicio y también están quemando energía. Creo que están tratando de perder peso. Ok. Let's check these words that me, I consider like difficult. Tune up. Tune up. Changing. Changing. Standing. Right. Twins. Outside. Fun. Exercising. Exercising. Burning. Lose weight. Okay, let's see the person who. Thank you, thank you for sending the conversation. And we're going to check it in a moment. Ya casi terminamos, solo like 31. 33 minutes, 33 minutes, y ya casi terminamos. Okay, my friends. So, uh, see you in a moment. Ya les envié la invitación. Okay, so in a moment.
Ok, we're going to almost finish. Ya casi vamos a terminar. Vamos a ver si Flor nos ayuda. Flor, who was your classmate? ¿Con quién han sido practicando? Ya te veo bien animada. Yo creo que vas a salir, Flor. Hmm. Hay un after, entonces. Hello. Hola. 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 Eh, Marvin. Marvin es mi pareja. Van a salir. Bien, pueden hablar. No. 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 Okay. Nice. Ok, Marvin. En floor. Conversation 3 o 4. Eh, que elija ella, Tisha. Vale. Ok, Flor. 3. 3. Ok. Showtime. Okay. Comienza si gusta. What is Paul doing? Paul is working on this car. He is having it tonight. He is changing all the shaking of the part of the cars. But he is not working. He is just starting there. He is taking his time because he wants to do job right. He is listening to the radio as he works. As he works. Thank you. Very nice. Perfect. Now let's listen to number four, Frank. Okay, help us, Frank. Who was your classmate? Catherine. Kathy. Ah, right. What do you do? Yes. Kathy and Frank, number four, please. Uh, Catherine Elija. Okay, uh, empiece usted, four? Four. Mm -hmm. Where are the things? They are playing outside. They are playing soccer with their friends. They are using the front lawns as a soccer pitch. Are they having fun? They are having a lot of, of fun. They are exercising. <laughs> so they are burning a lot of energy. I think they are trying the to lose weight. Okay, very good, nice. Exercising. Okay, we're going to check this. We have another exercise. Here we have put the words in the correct order to make sentences. Vamos a ver acá. Uh, maybe we can have the help of uh, Iris. For example, number one, making breakfast is this morning. That solo tenemos que ordenarla. The words are already there. Ya están ahí las palabras. Solo tenemos que ordenarlo. Entonces tenemos acá por lo menos. Is that making breakfast this morning? Entonces ahí está haciendo papá de su esta mañana. Ok, it is two, three, four, or five. One number. And then we go with um, Elizabeth. It is. Hello. Yes. Um, number four. Okay. Are you listening to music? Yes. Perfect. Now let's listen to, thank you, it's Elizabeth and then Gabriel. Okay, number three. I am Brian mm -hmm. to New York at the moment. Yeah, good one. Ya ves, te quiero decir, mira, lo está haciendo bien. Thank you. <laughs> no he dormido. <laughs> ah, vaya, pues. Excelente. Gabriel, el de pelo es. <laughs> el, pues nos anda desvelando, Eli. Bien. Okay. okay. Nice. We go with Gabriel. Are you ready? And then you did. Two or five. Okay, five. Okay, Gabriel. Okay, Arpis. 
Yeah. Sí, ya no te escuchamos. Ajá. Now painting a picture. Ok, creo que no te escuché, se cortó. Ajá. The artist isn't. Isn't a picture. Now. Yes. Thank you. Really good. And Judith, number two, please. The characters aren't wearing costumes tonight. Aren't. El verbo, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Wearing, wearing. Wearing. Costumes tonight. Costumes. Uh -huh. Costumes. Costumes. Significa dos cosas. Significa costumbres y también significa trajes, como disfraces. The actors oh. are wearing costume, uh, costumes uh, okay. tonight. Tonight, yes, good. good. Okay, let's move with the question. Ya no quedan ya 20 minutos. Should parents be punished by the children's crimes? Okay. So in this case, we are going to listen. Marvin, please. And after Marvin, we go with Christy. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, my answer is definitely no. Okay. Uh, to carry most of the blame and responsibility for their children actions. Okay, yes. Like everybody should face the uh, the justice. Que alguien debe de pasar por la justicia. Mm -hmm. Good point. Okay, what if uh, we listen to Christy? Okay. Okay, Christy and then Kathy. Parents, if they are to plan, plan, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Uh, ¿Qué? Planes, or what, what do you want to say? P-L-A-M-E. P de bueno. Okay. By parents, if they are to plan, Mm. Okay, no, no, no. No, no quiere te, decir okay. este que sí, que los padres tienen culpa por no haber sabido educar a sus hijos. Ah, ok. Pa padres, if they are to blame. Ah, blame. Blame, blame, correcto. Blame es culpable. Okay, Ajá, blame. ok. Mm -hmm. Parents, if they are to blame for no knowing how to educate, educate. 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 educate their children and for pampering them them too much and no teaching them in time in time time the time the tiempo in okay. time the the consequence of their action okay nice yes why not thank you we go now with Ivania and then Flo okay Ivania what's your opinion about this question Okay, um, it with a degree of verbal um, warning to parents and then a uh, crime is repeat by their ch children punish, uh, punishment. Punishment. Uh, punishment. Uh, punishment. I sure already be applied to both so that parents love more responsibly in education and be more aware, aware of okay. their children. Okay, more aware of their children. Yes, okay, really nice. Thank you. Well, and uh, now let's listen to Flor and then Gabriel. Okay, good. Uh, I think not because each person is the occurner of the action, but the education that a father gives these children has a lot to, to win it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. It depends on how the parents allow, como per permiten eso, but they have like their own 
y ellos tienen como su, su, también su propio camino. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's listen. Okay, uh, it is. Okay, Ceci, are you ready for this question? Yes, teacher. Okay, please, it is. Tell us. Uh, for me, a child should be correct, but not with push punishments that involve a boost. Right? Mm -hmm. it's, about, it's about correcting with action that have an impact on the life of, ch of children, but that don't leave, don't leave them with long-term trauma. Okay, traumas, traumas. Yes, uh, maybe there are some limits how to punish or to establish, right? Uh, with no abuse and uh, taking into account a lot of things. So, yes, don't create traumas in kids. Yeah, good point. Thank you. And Gabriel. And then Kathy. Okay, Gabriel. Of course, yes, they are responsible for the acts that they do have of the time. They are minors. Minors. Minor. They have the power to watch over and guide. Then all the right paths today is quite the opposite. Okay, nice. Yes, something important that you said is that uh, there are minors, some uh, menores, so they are under the parental control. That's bajo el control parental, verdad? Cada papá y mamá. Thank you. Eh, Kathy, en eh, Juan, if possible. A ver si puede, Juan. Okay. Uh, it's, it is true that the education of the children depends a lot on the parents, but the one who made the mistake is the one who must pay for it. For it. Since other, otherwise he doesn't really learn the push punishment, but rather life it himself. Mm -hmm. Very nice, yes. Thank you, good words. Juan, are you there? And then Pat. Hello, uh, in my opinion, pair up, because if they see the error in the not correct, correct it. Mm -hmm. Correct, it's correct here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Good, thank you, thank you very much. What if you listen now to Patty? Are you okay to, to give your opinion? Okay, in my opinion, until the uh, age of the 15, mm -hmm. parents should bear the crimes that hear children commit because their parents are responsibility for the facts that the children have seen many uses or improper acts that they use in the development of children. Childhood. Child. Okay, yes, and the of childhood, yes. Well, I guess there are a lot of aspects to take into account, a lot of aspects to take into account, and of course, well, I agree with you, estoy de acuerdo con ustedes. Okay, there are some exercises, just on the and minutos. Um, here, these exercises are kind of interesting. Porque nos dan dos opciones. In este caso, for example, here we have um, present or present continuous. Recordemos, remember that a present shows, el presente solo te muestra acciones que pasan normalmente, hábitos, rutinas, okay? En present continuous es algo que está pasando en el momento o va a pasar dentro del poco. Okay, so please, I need you to read the complete sentence and select one of the phrases. Okay, one of the options because we have two options in here. So the first person may be, uh, we can have the participation of Roberto. Okay, Roberto, 
what are what number one two or well from one to eight uh number one number one uh, i am brushing my teeth teeth twice a day okay twice a day es dos veces al día mm -hmm. me estoy cepillando los dientes dos veces al día o me cepillo los dientes dos veces al día la segunda i am I am brushing. Uh -huh. Creería que es la primera. I brush my teeth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es una uh -huh. rutina. Okay. Pero confunde. Confunde, se da cuenta de eso. Pero aquí está la frase. Try to day dos veces al día porque es una rutina. Okay. Thank you. We go okay. now with Frank and then Carly. Okay, Frank. Select one of these. Sí. Um... Number three. Number three. Uh, look. Mm -hmm. Look, Mira. it's raining. Yes, it's raining. Mira, está lloviendo. Okay, it's raining. Thank you. Okay, Carly, and after Carly, we go with Judith. I, uh, number two, I play tennis twice a week. Twice a week, yes. Twice Yo week. juego tenis dos veces a la semana. Thank you. And let's listen now to Judith, and then we go with Pat. Number four. Number four. I have to go home. Uh, it gets. Casi. Sería la segunda. It's getting Ay. dark. Se está haciendo, se está oscureciendo. Ok. Thank you. Ok, Patty, and then Juan. Number five. Uh, normally eat breakfast very early. Yes, I normally eat mm -hmm. breakfast very early. Yo normalmente desayuno muy temprano. Yes, it's a routine, a common action of every day. And let's listen to Juan. Hello, teacher. Number yes. six. Number six. This is such a, a great party. I'm having. having. No. So, uh -huh. Yes, I am having. Yes, I am having. Thank you. I am having so much fun. Okay, very nice. What about um, Marvin? Seven or eight? Seven. Okay. I always try to tell the truth. Yes, perfect. I always, yo siempre intento decir la verdad. I always try to tell the truth. Okay. Okay. And the last one, maybe we can have the help of Ceci. Okay, it is. Can you help us with number eight, please? Um, quiero ver. Yes, number eight. Mm -hmm. eh, tenemos persona uno y persona dos. It's a short, very short dialogue. Un diálogo corto. Okay. I am a person one. Uh, okay, uh -huh. Person one, would yes. you like some candy and no, no. I am no, no, pardon. I don't like it. I don't like the candy. Yes, la, la persona no le dice, would you like some candy? ¿Te gustaría algunos dulces? La persona no dice, no, thanks, no, gracias. Yes, I don't like candies. No me gustan los dulces. Okay. And the last yes. exercise, que no lo vamos a alcanzar a ver todo por cuestiones de tiempo. Let me see what we're having. Ok. Solo vamos a hacer quizá unas cinco versiones de esto. Se present tense, simple or progressive. Vamos a elegir dos oraciones que consideremos que sí sean presente o presente continuo. Así como lo hicimos en el ejercicio anterior, ok. So, in this case, I will need the help of um, Flor. 
and then Ivani. Okay, Flor. Okay, Select one. Teacher. Puede ser, uh -huh, remember, si es una cuestión, if it is a routine, a habit, es algo que pasa normalmente, casualmente, es presente. Si está pasando en este momento, o va a pasar dentro de poco, es present continuous con ING. And number three. Number three, let's check. Susan writing to her parents every Sunday na, Sunday night. Night, ok. En este caso sería presente, writes. Susana okay. escribe a sus papás cada eh, domingo en la noche, ¿verdad? Entonces es un hábito. But thank you, Flor. Very okay. nice. Good. There we go now with Ivania and then Gabriel. Number one, okay. I often write in Ireland. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. It often rains. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, Gabriel. No, no faltan tres oraciones. Yes, Gabriel. And then, Kathy. Number five. Five. Yes. Where is Harry? Uh-huh. Casi. He's playing. He's playing. ¿Dónde está Kevin? Él está jugando con su... Ok, Katy, please. And after Katy, we're going to have Carly. Y terminamos. Ok, mm -hmm. Katy. Mm -hmm. Number 12. 12, ok. My boss. My boss waiting to change up soon. Casi. Thanks. One. <laughs> Sí, bueno. casi. Uh -huh. Mi jefe quiere cambiar su trabajo pronto. Y estas yo sé que son tricky, son medio tramposas, ¿eh? pero bueno. Terminamos con Carly. Hey, Carly. Number two. Okay. Is raining there now? Yes, is it? Is it raining? Yeah. There now. Is it? Ok, me parece un buen check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia. Recordarles que en un momento voy a pasar las notas. Espero que ya tengan terminado las tareas de la unidad 3. And remember, recordarles, remember that um, the next uh, week is the last one. Ya estaríamos terminando quizás. Si siguen demás cosas, la otra semana. Ok, say hi, hello, good evening, if there is a person. Ok, um, if you listen to your name, Elizabeth, hi. Hi, teacher. Thank you, Flor. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Ya les escucho los batteries, así que ya yo sé viernes, pero ya se viene el fin de semana. Ok. Frank, Francisco. Hi, teacher. Hello, Gabriel. Good night. Ok, here we have Iris. Ni, ni adiós, pero si no. <laughs> okay, bye. Night, bye. Juan. Hello, teacher. Hello, Judith. Good night. Good night, Ivania. Good night, teacher. Bye, Carly. Good night, teacher. Bye, Kathy. Good night, teacher. Good night, Marvin. Present. Okay, Nelson. Happy weekend. Okay, happy weekend, Patty. Good night, teacher. Roberto, nice. Present, okay. teacher. Okay, good. Christy, te queda Christy, okay? Hoy te queda, te toca la, okay. la, la sesión. Okay, uh, William. Okay, see you, my friends. Descansen el fin de semana, okay? Pórtense bien y más. Bye-bye. 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 Ok, Cristi, dime. Tenemos un par de minutos. Esto normalmente pasa bien rápido. Ni vas a sentir tu tiempo. Así que dime, este, ¿qué consideras que te está costando un poco? ¿Hay un tema que, que posiblemente tiene dificultades? 
o hay algún tipo de pronunciación, quieres que practiquemos alguna conversación para revisarlo. Antes de, de empezar la, la clase, según yo, pronunciaba bien las palabras. Uh -huh. Porque sí, hay unas que sí, con facilidad yo las pronuncio. Pero sí, hay sí. otras de, desconocidas que, que no mucho. Entonces lo que tengo que hacer es practicarlas más, bien seguro. Sí, Escuchar fíjate. tal vez más audio. Pero... Sí, eh, yo creo que puedes hacer un par de cosas, Cristi. Porque lo que a mí me parece muy bien es que tú intentas. Sí, sí. Todo, porque hay gente que quiere, pero no intenta, y ahí se queda. La sí. cuestión es hacerlo, intentarlo. Ahora, cuando tú lo intentas, este, yo estoy escuchando ya una mejoría con comparación de la primera semana, por lo menos conmigo, ¿verdad? Porque si te das sí. cuenta, la metodología es diferente. Este, yo pido, hago otras actividades, quizás que, que hacía el otro teacher, porque todos los sí. teachers tienen su, su metodología, su, su forma. Entonces, a mí me gusta que hablen bastante, si te das cuenta. Entonces, sí, mejor, mejor, porque así es la única manera de ir aprendiendo. Es que así es, no importa sí. si se equivocan, si te das cuenta, cuando ustedes, ah, como dicen una palabra que posiblemente no está influenciada, pero yo trato de no interrumpirlo, lo dejo. Sí. Y después hago el énfasis, ¿verdad? Porque si los estoy deteniendo así, entonces si se quedan con la idea, a veces se cuarta la inspiración. Pero yo creo que tienes, yo percibo que tienes eh, coherencia para decir las cosas. Lo que sí hace falta es la pronunciación de algunas palabras y la fluidez. Ahora, Pero soy consciente de eso, sí. Uh -huh. Sí, porque tú sabes varias palabras. Pues, yo percibo eso y tú me entiendes normalmente las indicaciones y todo eso ahora. Bueno, ahora más gente, porque tengo actividades un poco diferentes, ¿verdad? Para sí, algunas sí. worksheets y todo eso, pero se trata de adaptarse sí. al teacher también, ¿verdad? Y también a los estudiantes. Ahora, lo que sí te sugiero, Cristi, y que sí te puede servir mucho, es que mmm, cuando leas cualquier cosa en inglés, intenta Ajá. pronunciarlo. Porque fíjate sí. que a mí me ha pasado, y a todos nos ha pasado, que tenemos un, un texto en inglés y lo leemos, pero con la mente. Sí. Y le entendemos, ah, ya, ya sé qué quiere decir esta palabra, sé de qué se trata. El problema es que no movemos. A la hora de la pronunciación. Eso, uh -huh. eso. Sí. Fíjate que a veces, este, incluso yo leía libros en algo como se llama, como se llama la universidad, de obras en inglés, pero cuando yo quería exponer o dar mi idea sobre eso, no podía porque. En mi mente estaban todas esas palabras. Pero al momento... A, he empezado a, a ver las películas así con las palabras en inglés. Que, vaya, que salgan en inglés para leerlas en inglés. Sí, sí. O incluso... La, que ellos hablan en español. ¿verdad? No importa. Porque vas a ver algunas frases cuando dice la gente, oh, por Dios, ahí aparece, oh, my God. Ajá, entonces, sí, es, ajá. cositas, frases así te van a servir. Entonces, cuando puedas pronunciar esas esa frases, dílas. Sin pena. Ahora, sí. la cuestión acá es que yo te sugiero que por lo menos, eh, yo sé que les cuesta porque tienen eh, el tiempo saturado, ¿verdad? La agenda un poco apretada, pero si puedes practicar, digamos, una vez todos los días, sí. dos minutos haciendo esto, eh, busca una noticia o cualquier cosa en inglés. Uh -huh. Léela. Por ejemplo, una noticia en la BBC, puede ser en el Times, puede CNN. ser cualquier CNN, lo que sea. Y tú Ajá. eliges un párrafo. Un párrafo que tenga cinco líneas, seis líneas. No, no tiene que ser mucho, tiene que ser poco. Porque Algo si es mucho, sí. uno se satura. Más que que se te quede, lo que yo necesito es que... No, que lo leas. Lo leas y lo pronuncies. Grábate. Sí. Sí. Haz esto. Vaya, fácil. Elige tres líneas, Cristi. Tres líneas. Y vienes con el celular, te grabas. Luego, vuelves a hacerlo por segunda vez. Okay. Y te grabas. Y la tercera vez. Te vas a dar cuenta que ya la tercera vez, como ya son palabras familiarizadas, lo vas a hacer más rápido. Hasta conseguir una mejor pronunciación. Eso, eso. Ahora. Es importante buscar, por ejemplo, el, el Google Translator, el traductor de Google, porque también te puede ayudar con algunas palabras que son difíciles. ¿Cómo se Yo, llama? ¿Tran? ¿Qué? ¿Tran? Sí, el traductor de Google. Ah, 
sí, eso no. Ajá. Ajá, entonces. Pero más allá de significado, es importante que escuches la pronunciación, porque sí. fíjate que tus respuestas son estructuradas. A veces son un poquito largas, ¿verdad? Las puedes sí, acortar. Sí, sí, sí. Pero lo que tú dices en las respuestas de las speaking activities está muy bien. Bien. Lo que consideres que tú creas tu, 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 tu respuesta, pero percibo que quizás no la practicas mucho. ¿Verdad? Porque la respuesta... Tengo que practicarla me... más. Ajá, porque a mí me gusta, sí. tiene, tiene mucho sentido, tiene lógica, y yo digo, ah, qué bien, me parece. Pero hay palabritas que hay que practicarlas. Por ejemplo, aparte de lo que te digo, dos o tres minutos al día con ese texto, antes de la clase, sí. eh, no sé qué hora llegas a tu casa, pero si puedes, antes de que comience la clase, diez minutos, Vivo en mi trabajo. ¿Perdón? Vivo en mi trabajo. Ah, entonces genial, qué bueno. Aunque también Ajá. no es tan, tan, tan fácil, ¿verdad? Pero, Ajá, sí. pero, este, lo que te sugiero. Pero que... también descanso, pero también Exacto. descanso. Exacto, sí, te ahorras el viaje, el tráfico sí, y todo sí. eso. Ahora, sí. lo que sí te sugiero es que unos 20 minutos, por ejemplo, 7.40, 7.45, sí. lo que puedes hacer es, por ejemplo, leer la respuesta. Practícala. Ajá. La respuesta. Sí, la... sí practícala. Y si hay palabras que te cuestan, búscalas en el traductor de Google. Sí. Y las escuchas y las practicas. Porque si te das cuenta, algunos, porque tienen la, la cámara apagada, pero a veces cuando la encienden, yo escucho que están así, están practicando antes de que yo les pregunte sí. y están escuchando. ¿sí? Entonces, a veces buscan sí. algunas palabras que les cuesta, porque tú vas leyendo. Pero de repente sí. hay una palabra que te cuesta y tú dices, sí. mmm, esas palabras que te Pero cuestan, pasa, sí. búscalas. Y arriba de la palabra en inglés pone la pronunciación como tú lo escuchas. Te vas a dar cuenta que dice que en esta semana si haces esto vas a tener una gran mejoría. Sí, sabe. sí, lo voy a hacer. sí. sí eh, hazlo y, y créeme. Disfruta todo este proceso, estamos aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Sí, no sí, te gracias. sientas mal. A veces uno dice como que, ah, no se me cuesta, pero no, vas bien. Solo hay cositas que hay que ir arreglando. ¿Okay? Sí, 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 muchas gracias. ¿Verdad? Así que te sí. recomiendo eso, eh, que leas, apréndete los coros de las canciones, Cristi. Las canciones sí. son geniales. Okay. Son buenísimas. Cualquier canción que te guste en inglés... No toda la letra, el coro, porque con esas palabritas uno ya canta, ¿verdad? Entonces ya sí, se le va quedando. Sí. Esas palabras aparecen en oraciones, aparecen en conversaciones, aparecen en speaking activities y todo tu cerebro se va conectando de toda esa información que recibes. Sí, claro. Ok, Cristi. Así que Muchas pues gracias. te animo a que sigues, eh, tú puedes, ¿verdad? Tienes el talento, solo hay cositas como, de, como todos, a todos los corrijos, si te das cuenta. Sí. ¿Verdad? Solo que hay que practicar un poquito más y toma en cuenta los tips que te doy, ¿ok? Sí, muchas gracias. Pase buenas noches. Bueno, ánimo. Nos vemos el lunes. Bye, bye. Gracias. Buenas noches.